Okay. Let's see if I can find my brush again. This looks like it. Alright. Oh, I need the other one too. I need the mixy one. Alright, you guys. So our first double art stream week. Working on getting my ass together here. Hope everybody's doing all right today. As we are getting set up here, I'm just getting the sponge wet here. At least wet enough to do what I want it to do. Again, I'm not using the sponge on the painting today. Just using it as a water delivery system. Right. I feel like we're going to need more black paint. But, I don't know for sure yet. I thought I had a big bottle of black, but I don't know if I'm just not seeing it. Let me double check. Bad allergies still. We've got rain in the area, but it's all to our south, so that kind of sucks. We really need the rain. I think we'll continue using the small guy first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, well now that I'm looking at it, I don't see that, well, I don't really see the black dot from yesterday. So, that's good. At least we managed to cover that up. Just getting our black paint ready for today. Well, we're trying to get it ready for today. Oh, that's really... That's, uh... Some glompy paint there. I'm glad we've got more black because this bottle is pretty old. It's like a couple years old, so. And they've got a decent enough shelf life. Mm -hmm. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's really 16 a second drop gun in there, but I think we're going to start with about 16 drops of water off the sponge. If mm, this looks a little watery, maybe that's a little too watery. Um, we'll see. We'll stir it in real good and uh, go from there. Sorry, I picked up some of the glompy. Came off on my sturdy brush, so. Let's see, do we need to add any more to that? I'm just kind of wiping it off on the side to see how much it's gonna drip. 
Mm, that might be alright. Won't really know for sure till we get going here. Alrighty. Hope everybody had a good week. Good weekend. Start of a new week. For some. So we will see how today goes. And it's the birthday, so we have the birthday mingo. Down there in the corner. Somehow have a dot of black pink, like right there in the middle. Don't know how that happened. Alright, we ready? <clears throat> oh, I didn't do my finger. Hold on. Painter's tape. It's a multitude of uses. Yes, yes it does. Alright. So, let's see how this goes today. Oh, you know what? We might need the other light on here. Help me see a little bit better. That shadow there was pretty, pretty dang dark. Oh, okay, that doesn't feel too, uh, too runny, so. Should be okay. Right in there. I still need to finish up the edging. I didn't get to that last night. I decided to try to get my stream prep done for Thursday, which I didn't. I didn't get very far on that. I ended up getting my, uh, my birthday gift from my parents last night and then my mom was like what are you gonna do with it and Russell's like what do you think she's gonna do with it she's gonna get art supplies and I was like oh I could get some more yarn I've been wanting yarn I could get some of it now instead of waiting till till Christmas So, I got a good number of colors, I think, without getting any duplicates of what I already have. And I say it that way because I ordered from a different company. Um, their skeins of yarn are a little bit smaller from this company's brand. I mean, I don't think it's their house brand, but this particular brand that this company was selling. So I ordered from Lovecraft. Not sponsored, not promoted. I'm just seeing um, what they're like to deal with. As I have never ordered anything from them before. And uh, the order process was pretty painless so far. I believe their warehouse is in Missouri, I believe, or maybe that's just their home office, but um, you know, it was pretty, pretty easy to check my cart and update it and They did have a thing where if you signed up for their newsletter you got 15% off, but it didn't apply to sale items, and what I picked up was all on sale, so. 
this yarn I picked up from them was on sale for like two sixty two. So couldn't find any more of that dollar ninety nine deal that I had come across at Joanne's. So it might have just been a right time, right place thing. Sorry, I had something on my glasses and I was starting to look at it instead of look through it. It wasn't really something that I could look through. You okay? Yep, I'm all right. He suddenly just got up. Had to make sure he was all right. Okay. I want to be real careful in here. This actually, it looked a little watery when uh, I was mixing that in, but now. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's flowing okay. Maybe I just didn't get that much paint on there. It is a smaller liner brush. Sorry. Where my microphone is set up, my handle keeps clipping it. So we do have that to contend with. Let me make sure that we are still in frame here, and it appears we are. Loud vehicles. I can't believe school's going to be starting here soon. But I'm not sure when exactly. It should be soon. Sorry, it looked like the pink along the edge I was trying to bust on through there. Alright, where'd you go? Oh, like you got up like very quickly. Making sure you're all right. I'll try to get up quickly and quietly because you're streaming. All right, so now we'll let that section just kind of chill for a minute, and I'm gonna work over here now. Do have a quick question? Did you want to drink your water that was in your? Thing. Um, you can drink it if you need it. I should probably replace that when I'm done. Oh, guys, it is so stupid hot. So stupid hot. Oh, yeah, anyhow, so the yarn. I got distracted. Um, so I managed to pick up 17 colors that I think are different um, from what I have. Actually, thinking back on it, I probably could have skipped the one color, but I wasn't real sure how it was going to um, blend in with what I had, so, because they are different brands of yarn. The stuff I've used previously has been... Um, Joanne's in-house brand 
but they've discontinued some of the colors that I've actually purchased. And while I know that happens, um, I hadn't really seen any colors come in to replace them yet. And I was like, ugh. So, well, that kind of was a little weird. Now who's bugging you? Uh, I'm preempting the usual bugging. Oh. I was say, it's a little early, isn't it? I really should leave Twitter closed or have it hidden when I'm uh, when I'm streaming because I see the most savage shit ever. When I'm streaming. And I'm like, oh damn. I'm like, wow. All right then. Right, so I just had to uh, rinse my brush there. Looks like it was starting to get a bit of uh, paint buildup on it. I don't have to rinse it after every paint dip, but. I would recommend it after, you know, maybe five minutes or so being in the same color. At least on this stuff. Just to ensure it doesn't get a little too... embedded in there, I guess. So yeah, and um, so since I placed it on the weekend, they're like, oh, well, you know, we'll work on your order first thing. Like it said my order date was actually today, even though it was um, placed on the 7th. So I was like, well, you know, I guess that's because their next business day is Monday, so I get that. That's fine. Um, and I think it said like four to ten days to ship. So I wasn't really expecting anything to happen, but this morning, or this afternoon, when I crawled out of bed, checked my email and it said it had shipped so that was a pleasant surprise so we'll see how long it takes to get here um, there wasn't any tracking info available yet and I'm not entirely sure who's delivering it because the website that it took me to about tracking it was a company I'd never actually heard of before, but then it said something about USPS, so I was like, oh, I don't know who's delivering it now. I'll probably know a little bit more about that once I actually um, are we still in frame? 
we are. Alright, that's about as high as I can raise it. Um, that's as much as I know until I actually get some tracking info. It's probably like, right now, it's probably just like, oh, they've been contacted to come pick up this shit. Or it's waiting for them to come pick it up. Probably something like that. But I will say, so far I'm impressed. I forgot what it's like to order from... company that may have their shit together, so... <laughs> and I say it like that because when I ordered that yarn from Joann's, I was kind of concerned because they split the shipment up of 23, 22 colors or something, whatever it was, into like five different shipments. Which I thought was really bizarre. And then... It came from... Like, all corners of the country. And I was like, what is this? It was very strange. I didn't quite understand what was going on. I don't know if they just had that many warehouses, but I swear it seemed like they were pulling the product off store shelves. and sending it. And I'm just like, this is weird. It's a very strange way to do it. Like, I could kind of see it if the warehouse was out and the store had it, but like they just wanted to make the sale but if that was the case then they had a hell of a lot more out of stock in the warehouse than they were originally listing on the website because I do know that is the one thing that frustrates me when I go to their website I was like, oh, Russell's like, well, maybe you can do in-store pickup. And I was like, yeah, then I won't have to pay for shipping. And I wanted to do that, but they really only seemed to have curbside pickup for stuff that was in-house. And shipped to store wasn't even an option, and I'm like, uh, okay. I'm like, alright, well. I knew about how much shipping was gonna be from them. From the last time. And I saw how much shipping was gonna be from Lovecraft when I was originally window shopping, so I was like, well... Let's go take- ow, my neck just cracked. Let's go take a peek at Lovecraft. Now, Joann's had been having a $1.99 shipping sale, but after putting a shopping cart together with Lovecraft and then trying to compare the color selection to Joann's, and Joann's was priced Maybe 75 cents more. Because their 
their cheapest yarn that I was going to get, like the Big Twist value, the stuff I'd gotten previously, was a little bit more money. So I was like, eh, I don't know. I mean, the the Joanne in-house yarn, there was about 80 more yards to the balls, but um, I don't necessarily need to have that extra for what I'm doing. I think we're going to turn this guy here. Alright, so. He's kind of in an awkward spot now. Ah, and now my hand's going to be in wet paint. Actually, that's really super awkward. Um, I feel like we need a little bit more water in our paint now. So let me do that while that's drying a little bit. Not a whole lot. I might just do like five more drops because it's still pretty flowy. Um, yeah, it's still pretty flowy, but, you know, I have a bad habit of wiping my hands on my pants and trying not to do that. Because <laughs> these shorts might still be presentable to wear outside. Maybe. sure that we get as much paint as we can scraped out of there. I'm not going to be totally destroying the bristles on this brush soon, this purple one. From all of my scraping and fluffing. I should make a, um, I should make my own, um, paint puck. Probably won't be as good as a store-bought one, but let me see if I can get this guy in a position that I can work with him in without driving all of you crazy. Because we're in a delicate area. around his face. Okay, that might have been... a little too much water now. Maybe. 
Maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe. That's okay, though. Because we can just go over it a bit more. Trying to make sure that we are somewhat in frame here. Now we're at the very bottom corner. That's the best I could do that I can see and not totally piss off all of my being. I was originally thinking of calling this Mixed Media Monday, but... But... I can't always guarantee we're going to have a Mixed Media project to do. So... It's just going to be a second art day. And then I think we'll be able to get through our projects. That was a little bit of a foobar. Brush got away from me a little bit there. Um, I think we'll be able to get through our projects a little bit quicker. Or we'll be able to spend a little bit more time fussing with them. I mean, either way, it's still a bit of a win-win, more than likely. So we'll give it a go. Sorry for the hum in the background. It's, like I said, it's hot, so I've got my other fan on. So that we're not completely sweltering. I wasn't sure if we were going to have stream today. I was fighting a migraine last night. Even the excitement of more art supplies couldn't quite quell. Uh, quell. 
Okay. Uh, now we're getting into the territory of the edge sections that I haven't. gotten to yet. And I will probably leave those edge sections for last. Just gonna get close enough to them. when I come back later. We can deal with those guys without too much fuss. And we'll still get them all to line up pretty good in there. Say darn my work circles. So try to be as careful as we can. right in through here. So we are along that face edge. And we certainly want to be careful. This is where we'll find out for certain if we made our uh, our beak here. And dark enough. And or light enough really. I think we have. I definitely see a distinction wrapping around the edge there. Just cleaning up my brush real quick. That is starting to dry. So come in through here. And start filling that spot in. Sorry for the funky angle that we are sitting at at the moment. That funny angle will probably be a theme down this side to a degree, or at least in this section. Oh, that's loud. Phones are ringing. Sorry, we have to take the phone call because uh, we kind of had to force my dad to make a doctor's appointment. Oh, 
I try not to be all up in his business. And try to give him space. But when I was in there, in their room vacuuming, because it really needed a decent deep vacuum, my mom has this little like stick electric thing that doesn't do much of anything suction wise with all the pet hair. But, um, everything okay? Yep. I noticed a seepy, weepy spot on one of the things that he has wrapped around his legs, and I'm like, what is that? Oh, that's old. I was like, you're sure that's not wet? Because it looks wet. He's like, no, that's old. Okay. When was the last time you checked on that? I don't know. I need to do it. It's been a few weeks, and I'm like, it was seeping, and you haven't checked on it. He gets some... Um, because he has so much fluid build up in his legs, his legs will just kind of split open in spots, like the skin. And it'll seep and weep and stuff. And, um... I'm like, you're gonna end up with another leg infection. You need to check on that. He goes, yeah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. And he never did it tomorrow. So Russell ended up... I don't know if they ended up finally doing it, or if Russell did it, but I think Russell looked at it and he goes, yeah, no. You're making you need to do whatever you need to do to make an appointment with the wound center. Because Russell's like, it's not real bad, but if he doesn't get after it now, And then he was starting to give Russell some shit about it, and then he stopped, so. He'll listen to Russell more readily than me. I, I don't know why. Maybe because he's not a blood family member, so. Maybe he considers his opinion an outside opinion. I I'm not real sure. Alright, so I'm just kind of filling in our white spaces here, carefully as I can, because we don't want the brush to go too crazy on us. But I'm just going to fill in this section here, we're still sort of in frame. And then we'll turn this guy. And back around. And we'll start to work on the inside of the neck area. Okay. So, while that's drying there, Let's keep going on our face area as best as we can. Alright, I have to keep a 
open up my brush to look. Moving my hand out of the way. Because I'm in a bit of a shadow. Putting this down. I really gotta... If we end up moving our desks around again or something, I've gotta figure out a different lighting setup, because... I really need the lighting to the left. But, <laughs> with the way the plugs are situated over here, um, and space, space is a big factor. I mean, depending on where that's plugged in, I think I changed where that one light's plugged in though, so I might, I might be able to move it, but then I don't know if I'm going to get a shadow. from my monitors. I don't know if my monitors are going to be in the way. The only other spot I could possibly kind of sort of move that lamp to. And then I have to worry about the cat knocking it over because he likes to climb in that one particular spot. Kind of have this little paperweight tchotchke thing that we picked up in uh, Key West when we were last there sitting on top of the base of my desk lamp. Because it's a little top heavy. I have a uh, I have Russell's uh, work light uh, dome clipped to the side of it. So it needed just a little bit more weight on it to keep it from toppling. I don't know. If I'm realistically going to be able to move that. Because like I said, the one cat is an absolute dick <laughs> and uh, gets into everything that I don't want him to when I'm sleeping. Which is why I was worried he was going to find my sponge. I'm pretty sure the one cat found one of them the one day. and one piece went missing. Alright, so yeah, you can definitely see the, the differences there. So I think we did get that beak color right for this. I would have preferred that beak color be a little um, bit of a deeper black but that's, that's fine. For this, that works.
have to go a little bit slower in this part because my paintbrush is actually blocking my view of the edge so I, I don't want to get a little too deep into the pink here. On the plus side, I've got a proper pink coming. So we might be able to, um, if I pick up um, a couple skeins of embroidery floss, we might be able to look at a needle felted pin. That would be fun, right? That would be different. We could work on a prototype. I'm not a great, um, uh, sewer. But I wouldn't be doing anything all that elaborate with the embroidery thread. It would just be to finish off the edges, just to kind of, you know, sew around them. Or to maybe sew a blank piece of felt backing to it. That sort of thing. He's been made me cupcakes this morning. And uh, they came out pretty decent. So yay, we have cuppy cakes for later. I had one for breakfast. My breakfast. So I'll be able to shove something in my face. So I'm not too starving. This week I'm going to be very busy again. I've got to get that shaman stream prepped and then I need to get back into alpha to do a bit of testing. And here I was thinking, oh, I got the word done early in the week. This is fine. This is good. We'll have plenty of time to get into alpha and get testing again. Especially since we moved the the wild stream day, which is now Thursday, you guys. That got changed to Thursday. 
same time, just a different day. Um, and then I started working on the shaman. And got smashed in the face with the reality of leveling that shaman. With mobs that don't give the best XP, but that won't kill her. And I've never wanted Winds of Wisdom to come back more. Because <laughs> holy shit. I think I only got about 10% more done on her uh, last night. Before I got too distracted buying yarn. And uh, comparing yarn prices and then immediately having buyer's guilt <laughs> over buying the yarn. <laughs> Like, damn, I should have saved that for my husband's birthday coming up, but it's not that big into birthdays, so. Itchy. Itchy, itchy nose. This guy is really coming along. He's come a long way from his sketch he has. And I am... Oh, that was a lot of paint. Hold on. Looking at this dry section here. And I think some of this is going to need a second touch up. Maybe. Just a couple spots that do. Could just be the way the light's hitting it. Let me, let me rinse the brush real super quick. Because I kind of deep dunked that <laughs> into the paint there without meaning to. Wasn't the plan. But that's okay. As long as we didn't let it hang out in the brush too much, which we didn't, it's all good. Alright. So. Do 
it in this worked in here. as carefully as I can with my shaky ass fan. Actually the shaky ass fan's doing pretty good in this method. What's wrong? Nope, okay. Wasn't sure if I was being looked for or not. My mom has this mental block against the fact that I keep telling her I do my internet thing in the afternoon just about every day and yet she'll knock on the door in the middle of it. Is she doing her thing? Yes. Yes I am. She's like, well, I didn't know. And I'm like, I just told you. So I really do question how much she actually listens to what I tell her. Well, I think Russell's finally got the point across that he has a thing on Tuesdays. But they also like to keep scheduling my dad's doctor's appointments on Tuesdays. <laughs> like, really? I'm wondering if that's the day that the nurses work that will tolerate his ass. the easiest person to deal with. And that's for sure. Like I was saying yesterday, it is a little bit of a slow process, but at the same time, not really something that you want to rush through either, because if you rush in this part, You're going to find yourself most likely straying into sections that you didn't want your outlining to be in. Like accidentally straying into the middle of one of your color blocks or just making a mistake that's going to be really awkward to fix. I mean, you can fix a lot of foobars with acrylic paint. It's just a, more of a matter of how much of a pain in the ass is this going to be to fix. I 
and sometimes with this. Um, a foobar isn't too hard to uh, deal with. But that doesn't make it like it's a little forgiving, not terribly forgiving, but a little bit forgiving. And you still have to come back in and uh, deal with it, but. Well, I'll tell you, that wind's really picking up out there. Or I'm just noticing it. I'm hearing my one bamboo wind chime. Going to town pretty hard out there. We do have some weather fronts trying to move through. Speaking of, I should probably clean my brush. And while I'm doing that, let's do a quick weather check. Let's see where we're at. Alright, so the rain missed us so far. It's a nasty storm though, just southeast of Fayetteville. I'm surprised that doesn't have a uh, warning on it. Let's see, are we gonna get rain today? Or did it get moved to tomorrow? I'll tell you, last night I really felt like we had something come in. I felt bad last night. Um, looks like our greatest chance of rain is around 2 a.m. now. Figures. We need the rain! Okay, where are we? Oh, he's filling in very nicely, isn't he? Alright, eyes, let's refocus into what we're doing down below here. looking pretty good as he's drying. I mean, close up he looks a little bit better, but I do have him zoomed out a bit so that Y'all can get a better idea. Of what's happening. So I'm not sure how 
many more sessions we're gonna have with oh. <laughs> hey brush you got away from me that's okay wasn't too bad I mean it was still a little bit of a scare there but I did have to come in a little bit more on that blue piece than I necessarily wanted to but that's okay sorry I'm sitting here and I swear it looks like on some of these squares and I know I'm full of shit it almost looked like I could see the sketch lines but I think it's just the dark blue paint and how we covered it coming through I, my eyes were playing tricks on me <laughs> bless you <laughs> bless you Sorry. you're okay you alright? Mm -hmm. It's windy and it's terrible, terrible allergy season, so. Yay. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many more sessions we're going to have. I'm thinking probably hmm, what time is it? So we've been going for an hour. Four thirty. Five thirty. Um, we might have one more, which means. I'm going to need to make sure that we have yarn ready for next Monday. Just in case we get ready or we are ready to go back to needle felting. I think I have the shades ready that we would need, but I also need to record that yarn prep video that I said I would do. And I would put up on the channel, on the YouTube channel, for you guys. I haven't forgotten I just haven't quite had the chance yet. To get there but since we're gonna have new yarn coming I'm gonna need to get some of that prepped anyhow gotta figure out where I'm gonna store it maybe we can make use of some of those extra kitty litter containers we can't recycle them so we've got so many we could probably build an effing hedge maze out of them at some point
there you go we could like spray paint them in gray and black and turn them into landscape rocks <laughs> and line the driveway a flamingo in every bucket and, a, and an elephant ear will be the classiest house on the parade route. Not. I really do wonder how many flamingos it would take in the front yard to piss the city off. I, I really do. We're not in an HOA, so that wouldn't matter and they might not care like okay they might not be able to say anything as long as the grass is mowed but I do wonder how many would personally be offended would give two shits. I mean, they certainly didn't care when we were growing the cucumbers in the front planter box <laughs> on our porch that we're taking over. The one asked, what on earth are you growing? And we're like, cucumbers for the guinea pigs? And she was just like, oh. At least that's one stress we don't have to worry about anymore since we don't have them any longer. Is uh, feeding the pigs. We now have an outdoor fuzzy child, but that we're gonna have to make a cat house for for the winter. Unless we're just his summer home, but I doubt it. He seems to think he lives here now. And, uh, he gets upset if he doesn't get cuddle time with us now. He has tried to scale the windows, the window screens outside, to get our attention to make us come out. When he's mad. And he wants to just hop up in our laps now and just lay there. And he'll lay on our front door mat. If he's especially mad that he didn't get as much time as he wanted. So that way he knows if we've come outside. But Russell has seen him sleeping in our carport. So we're gonna have to do something when it starts to get cold. Keep his fuzzy butt from freezing. Alright. 
So our paint's still a little flowy. We haven't had to add more paint to it yet. Although we didn't have to add more paint to it yesterday either. We just had to add a little bit more water, but I'm not sure how much paint I had in the cup compared to from like yesterday compared to today. It's hard to compare that when the paint starts to get glumpy and stringy because I'm never quite sure how much came out. You know, not doing too bad here. All things considered. So excited to get my yarn. Can't wait to see it. I hope it works out well. It's it's acrylic, so it should work fine. I don't think it's 100% acrylic, but I think it is an acrylic blend at least. I don't know. I'll find out when I get the uh, when I get the label. But then again, I don't think. Oh, quick! I don't know if the other stuff was. Oh, oops! I don't think the other stuff was 100% acrylic either. It might have been. It might have been. I was actually surprised that um, I had found yarn cheaper than Red Heart because usually Red Heart like covers most of your acrylic fiber bases. It's usually like your cheap, a cheap guy to go to, but uh, I didn't see as many color options in them as I would have liked and they were actually a little bit more money. Now there might have been more um, yardage to it. Oh, what's happening? Flamingos! Goblin! Thank you for the raid. Welcome Goblin and friends. How was Mountain Blade? Hello, everyone. I think that's what I saw you playing. Hello, Vu. Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody on this Monday? That's a lot of emojis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the raid. As we are on our first new stream schedule day here. This got a little glumpy. Let's go ahead and rinse that. Thank you guys. We're working on our acrylic painting of a stained glass like flamingo. Working on putting in our quote unquote lead lines with our black paint. Say so we're almost halfway done. Oh. God damn dude, you scared me for a second. I forgot that I asked you how Mountain Blade was and and um <laughs> I thought you got married over the weekend. I was like, what? <laughs> Oh my 
my god. Oh, right. My brain. Okay. Remember, brain, you asked a question and he was answering. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> if I had been drinking, that would have been a spit take. Holy shit. The only reason that my brain caught up was like, brothers? Brothers? And I'm like, oh right, I asked about Mountain Blade. Holy hell. I was like, damn. <laughs> oh shit. Right, Mountain Blade. Gotcha. So, how goes the Lunkheads then? Are you down people since you marry them? <laughs> oh. I had a migraine last night. <laughs> I had a migraine really bad last night into this morning, and so I'm still a little slow on the uptake. God damn, I was like, what? You can't just drop that news on somebody. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm sober. I don't really drink. We don't really have any alcohol in the house anyway, but... No drunk Nisi for her birthday. I don't think I've ever been drunk, actually. I don't drink enough to be drunk. Maybe a little tipsy on a few wine coolers, but that was about it. Lunkheads are still kicking ass. Nice. Well, thank you for rating on the birthday. Very nice. We got the birthday celebration mango down in the corner. Courtesy of Mr. Bright01, who has done all of the fabulous art on the channel. Alright, oh, that's not visible when I do that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm right on this closest edge to me. And sometimes it's a little hard to see it. But we're almost ready to move on to the bottom half of our painting. <laughs> Drunk Nisi would either be very hilarious or very scary. Yeah, I don't know how that would go. Um... My, you with me holding your hair, huh? Yeah, most undoubtedly. Um, <laughs> but I don't know what kind of drunk I would be. Because, um... Oh! Thank you! Yes, I, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm level 41. Um, my half-sibling... Um... Oh, thank you, Taco. Oh, what is going on? Oh, you gifted! Oh, shit! Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, and the mingos are still going. The mingos are chatty. Chatty, chatty mingos. <laughs> it's getting everybody. <laughs> Um, yeah, my, uh, my half-sibling, um, he was an alcoholic, and it was bad, so I uh, was kind of scarred from that, um, so I don't really drink very much, um, and, uh, he, he could turn violent like that, and I'd be like, ooh, so, um, I, I didn't really like being around him when he was... He was drunk. He had many a broken jaw from getting into bar fights and shit. I doubt I would do that. Because, you know, I'm a pansy. But, um... <laughs> I don't know what kind of drunk I would be.
but I'm okay with not knowing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was he was scary when he was drunk. Very scary. Oh, right. And I only saw tiny, tiny glimpses of it. So I can't even imagine. It was kind of funny. I, I was showing Russell how far we had gotten the other day, and he's looking at it, and he's like, okay. He's like, well, why why didn't, why don't you have a black line through here? And I'm like, because we're not done yet. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay. I don't think he really understood that all of the white spots were going to be filled in black. At least that's what we're working on. I think we might need to either add a little more paint or a little more water because it's getting kind of kind of thick in the paint cup, so let's go ahead and we'll rinse out the brush. That mango's looking pretty good. I might have to flip the mango here in a second, though. He is on his side. I think we need some clean water, though. That water is kind of grungy. So, how's everybody's weekend? Everybody have a good one. Everybody is doing okay. I just, I love how the black is just making the blue pop. Looks really good. And we did good with the shading on the beak because you can definitely see the, the outline and then the beak's not getting completely lost in it. So that's really good too. Thank you for those gift subs, sir. We ordered birthday present yarn last night. That was fun. And then I had the fun of buyer's guilt afterwards. Because, <laughs> you know, that's how we roll around here. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we have that other bottle of black, because oh boy. This is this is gonna explode out of here. I might have to switch to the other bottle, actually. Come on. We have a paint problem here. It's stuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this, this bottle's been around the block for a bit. That's for certain. And we definitely need a good amount of water in that one. So, <laughs> for the amount of paint that we just squished into there. Alright. So, what's on tap for everybody this evening? Afternoon, wherever it is. Zorts is ahead of me, so I'm sure he's going to be looking for dinner soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go with fifteen. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's so hot in here <laughs> that my sponge had practically dried out already. So what y'all doing for dinner tonight? Inquiring minds would like to know. I'm just mixing the water into our paint. Oof. Chunky. So when the paint starts to dry, it'll get... When it starts to get old in the bottle, it'll get like... These... Like... I don't even know how to explain it. I just call it glompy. It's like paint strings where it's like starting to dry out, but it's still liquidy. Oh, <gasps> I did it again. Damn it. 
We did it again, boys. In almost the same spot, too. That's sort of hilarious. I don't think we really rubbed any of the... Well, we might have rubbed a touch of the pink off, but... Let's see, if it's not too noticeable, when it dries, we'll be good. Okay. Alright, let's finish rinsing our brush over here. <laughs> Way over here. I don't even know how that speck of black got all the way over there. I would have thought it would have been like right under the paint cup if it was going to do anything. You gotta run? Okay, well you have a good one. Hope everything's going alright. Thank you for the subs and the chair and all that stuff. Appreciate it. Alright, so where are we? We are about up in here. I think we'll finish lining the flamingo. I was gonna stop by, but it was time for my stream to start and I hadn't realized you were streaming. Until I had already done my tweet, I was like, oh. I was like, well, I don't want to say that I'm starting now and then not. Well, it looks like we saved it, because, <laughs> uh, I mean, we could have just grabbed the, the coral again, although I think I put it back away, because I was like, okay, we, we won't be doing that again. We'll be extra careful. And then my clumsiness decides to, uh... Step in and be like, no, no, we're gonna do it again. Because of course we are. All right. So I'm gonna have to be exceptionally careful on our. Cat tail here, as I totally <laughs> wasn't. I kind of lost the point on my brush there. So when I put that down, it was a little bit thicker than I anticipated. Yeah, so don't forget, we're on the new stream schedule now, and it's hilarious, because after I changed it, Russell's telling me, so I changed it for those that don't know why, um, our friend that used to room with us got his class schedule for fall. He's going for um, his degree in... I don't know what the fuck he's going to school for. I always get it wrong. I Maybe electrical computer repair? Or maybe just electrical something? I don't know. And um, he got one of his degrees last year, and I can't remember which one it was. Was it his associates? 
And now I think he's going for his bachelor's. Or maybe I have it the other way around. But, um... Between work and his class schedule, the only days that the two of them were going to have to do anything at all was going to be, like, Tuesday and Wednesday. And I was like, oh, damn it. So I moved off of Wednesday so that they could have guy time, because I try to make sure they've got guy time. And, uh... Then the husband tells me today, he's like, yeah, so, um, it turns out they changed the definition of full-time at Walmart to 39 hours a week, and with his class schedule, he wasn't going to be meeting 39 hours a week to keep his full-time status. So since his mom is helping him with bills and such since he is back in school, he's like, fuck it. I'm just going to take an extra day off then and just, you know, not stress over it. So, he now has an extra day off. <laughs> and it turns out I didn't have to change after all. Because now he's off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And Russell's like, so you can switch back if you want. And I'm like, really? After I already changed everything, I'm just, he's like, he's like, well, it's whatever you prefer right now. And I'm like, well, I don't know what I prefer. Because we haven't really done the Monday stream yet. But I think I kind of am getting used to the idea of being able have us work on an art project two days in a row. So we don't have quite the large amount of time lost in between. Probably just stick with the new change as it is. Is what I'm thinking. Figured we should just cap that guy off right there. But yeah, he's really coming along here. We are chugging right along. At least it feels like we are. Now I still have to do the edge um, along this side and then halfway down here. So I still have to work on that. But I was trying to work on that off stream because it's kind of difficult to do that part and make sure it stays on camera. With how I've got things set up here.
So that I will probably finish up. off stream because I know it's a pain because half the time you can't see it all right I love how it's making our water pop too this is great fantastic when a piece comes together Very much so. Hmm, here's the question. Do we want to separate the legs on the flamingo? I hadn't thought about that. Because, I mean, we didn't... We didn't do any line work in here to separate those colors. So I don't know. I don't know. It's stuck on the placement. I don't know how that's going to look. It might make it look detached from the flamingo. And I was kind of envisioning that being all one large chunk. So maybe we won't. Yeah, maybe we'll leave that be. Try not to get too sketchy. And keep going over the same section along the flamingo edge. Because I'm afraid one of these lines I'm going to drift a little too far into the flamingo than I had planned on. Now I did do the cattails off stream, but I'm glad to see that they are light enough that we can make out the outline. That was another thing I wasn't real sure about, was if I had gotten their shading quite right. But it looks like we have I think I'm in camera, kind of, at the very bottom here. Just kind of filling in this section here. Since that is closest to me at the moment. All the way down at the bottom corner. What time is it? 5.13. Sorry, we're getting... My parents are buying me dinner. So I do have to keep an eye on the time today. We're not going out to dinner. They're sending Russell to... To go gather it. So, 
will probably be moving shortly. I'm not sure if we'd actually get done today if that wasn't happening, because we still have a bit to a little in here. And like I said, I don't want to rush too hard. Because that's when all of the mistakes start to happen. So probably still best to Take our time. So yeah, we'll definitely have one more session to work through. And I will make sure, oops, loud car. I will make sure that we have yarn prepped and ready to go for next Monday. I'm fairly certain that it will only be one more session on this. I'm probably going to do a brush on sealer, so I'll probably just do the Mod Podge. Seal this guy. I'm not really sure how much spray sealer I have, and um, it's been so hot out that it might not set right. So I'm pretty sure the current temperature outside is well above well above the um the storage temperature of it so i don't want it to separate or get weird or anything it'd probably be fine but I kind of prefer the Mod Podge sealer. Oh, what is happening? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> wow! A chicken raid! Thank you! The birthday raids continue! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you. 9.5 is a fiber crafter and um, does some some stream raider stuff and uh, some uh, I think some Pokemon related stuff too. Thank you. Yes, today is my birthday. It is level up day. <laughs> it's not yours. <laughs> No, today is level up day. So, and the stream schedule changed, so we are streaming on the birthday because we didn't have anything else planned. So, welcome, welcome, guys. I'm Nisi. I know a lot of people have trouble with how my name is spelled, and they keep trying to go Nisi. Thank you. Thank you. But it's Nisi, like your knee and then see like your vision um, after my full name it's a nickname a co-worker had given to me and uh, we do all sorts of things here oh my goodness all of the things thank you <laughs> the flamingos are getting a workout today um, <laughs> so uh, 
we we do all sorts of things here um thank you you guys appreciate it very much oh my goodness <laughs> um so uh we do some gaming and a couple days a week and uh because i'm part of the wow challenges community with world of warcraft i'm one of their mods and uh i do a lot of their website uh articles and, and blog posts and things and I help out with their podcast um, weekly, whether I'm on it co-hosting or um, just helping behind the scenes get um, blog posts and all of that shenanigans to where that needs to go post-production. And um, <laughs> flamingo's your favorite animal. Flamingo's, or fl I think it's without the E, but I'm not 100% sure. So, oh really? I thought it was just with the, I thought it was out the E. Nice. Um, but yeah, so we've, we have a soft spot for, for the flamingos around here. Um, and a husband did all of the, the flamingo art for the emotes and, um, and the, the notifications and stuff. Um, but, uh, figured we, we did have a sock puppet, um, as the channel mascot for a little bit. And, um, so I switched off of that and we're just going to lean into the flamingos and let our in inner flamingo fly. So, uh, welcome to our, our flock of flamingos or flamboyants as it's called. So, um, yeah, so we do some World of Warcraft one on, uh, we're moving that to Thursdays this week cause I had to switch off a of Wednesday. Um, Friday we work on Planet Zoo. Um, Sunday or a Saturday, there's no stream because that's when the podcast usually is for Wild Challenges and I'm busy with that. Um, and then Sunday and Monday we'll be doing art now. We're going to be doing that two days a week. And I managed to pick up some more yarn for my birthday. So we're going to have more yarn colors coming. So I'll be able to do some needle felted sunsets soon. And because uh, I'll have the appropriate colors for that. Or at least I think I will. It's hard to tell the shade on the website as to what it's actually going to look like when you get it, but I, I think we'll be good. Yes, we have seasonal flamingos. We have a a summer, we have a spring flamingo. We have a summer flamingo. We have a fall spooky flamingo that looks like it's partially a zombie. All stitched back together. And then we have our winter flamingo. And uh, we still have the sock puppet lurking around. We have one of them. Um, but I'm kind of moving away from that. I think my Etsy shop still has the sock puppet on it. I still need to um, redo the banner on that one. But um, right now we're in the middle of our flamingo painting projects. We took a small break from needle felting because this earworm, brain worm, whatever you want to call it, was in my head and I really wanted to get this done. So we're painting a stained glass like flamingo. Let me flip him around so you guys can actually see him properly. And. Um, let me see. I'm a little zoomed in, so he doesn't quite fit my workspace. Um, my workspace is very small, so yeah, he's 11 by 14 stretched canvas, so he's a little big. I, I need to size down a little bit further. I just don't like painting that small, but I'm kind of restricted in what I need to do. Um, so yeah, we've uh, the camera's gonna get weird. There's no auto zoom on this camera so I have to manually do it through um, through OBS so but you can see most of him <laughs> so um, we painted in all of our background and um, so it kind of has a stained glass feel not quite mosaic tile but close if we were gonna go mosaic tile it'd be a lot more line work on everything um, but yeah this is where we're at so far we still have a little bit of the side and um, the bottom to uh, to go in here but we're getting there we're getting there and uh, yeah so we're gonna be doing two days worth of art now and um, this guy will probably get finished up on su next Sunday and then on Monday we'll be ready to move on back to Bob Ross and um, let me see am I I'm not quite 
in the frame there, am I? I don't think so. Mm, okay, we'll, we'll go up here. Because um, we had taken a break from needle felting for just a little bit, but we're going to be heading back in there. And um, when we head back into Bob Ross, most likely on mo next Monday, uh, migraine permitting, of course, um, always needs to be an asterisk on everything I do. Um, <laughs> we will uh, be getting back into that. We'll be starting episode three of season three of The Joy of Painting. I don't remember what that one's called. I haven't looked at the tutorial list in a few weeks, but if memory serves, there's a bunch of trees and I think like a pond or a river or something. It's like a daytime scene. Um, I know he's doing that one on a white canvas, but I should have all the colors for that. and. Uh, just have to see what I have prepped and what I don't. Still need to get that speed felt video worked on. Um, from the last Bob Ross project, I time has just not been kind. <laughs> A free moment has been hard to find lately between husband having some rough days and then um, both of us just kind of feeling shitty lately because allergies and in life and all that but uh the migraine monster's been tough lately I actually thought I was gonna have to cancel stream altogether earlier this morning but uh I managed to get some more medication in me and get some more ice on me and that finally calmed down enough to get in here, stream for a little bit. But yeah, so I hope everybody had a good weekend. So what's everybody working on? What did you do in stream today? Like, everybody was streaming right as I was about to go live, and I'm like, damn, I can't check in on anybody, because I got up late. Well, I actually was up early for me, but late compared to other things. I think I saw that hat that you were, I think it was a hat that you were working on the last time. That looked pretty cool. I really should learn how to crochet. I know the basic knit stitch and the purl stitch, but all I know how to do with them is to make a chain <laughs> or like a square, like like just like a like a scarf. I can do a scarf. It it's a rough scarf, but I can do a scarf. Um, and then. Like, my grandmother could knit, crochet, she was a fiend with all of it. Working on a chicken today, cool. Very nice. And, uh... She only taught me the basic crochet stitch, but she didn't teach me what to do with it. She only taught me how to make a chain and just kind of left me to run with that and then she's like well when you get through this ball of yarn then we'll we'll sew it all together into a blanket and I'm like okay I guess it was just busy work to make me sit there and not bother her <laughs> on the numerous occasions that she got stuck um, babysitting me that was for a Kofi order. Nice. Very nice. I'm always nervous to 
open for commissions because I never think I'm going to be able to um, to do something that somebody else has envisioned. <laughs> like, I never know if it's going to come out how they're expecting it to. Because I could make the same thing six times and it's never going to look the same. Oh, thank you. Follow Palooza today. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the cheers and, and everything and the follows and and the subs. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. But uh, I've done one commission that kind of happened by accident, to be perfectly honest, um, through Zorx's Discord. Somebody saw something that I had been working on, and they're like, oh, hey, can I commission you to do this? And I'm like, uh, okay. So um, I think I might still have a photo of what I did for them, but they wanted a painting of their father's mule team for for Christmas and I'm like ooh I can't draw horses for shit <laughs> like they never look right so he sent me um yeah, let, let's uh let me go see if I can find it real quick he sent me a um I have an idea of where it should be if I still have it I don't know if I still do um, he sent me the photo, and there's a picture of it in progress, and I was like, okay, well, how am I going to do this, right? And the more I was looking at it, the more in over my head I felt, because there was so much rigging on these mules, and I was like, oh god. So, um, oh, here's the, here's how it turned out. Do I still have, okay. So... That's the final, but do I have the original photo? Alright, well I don't see the original photo. I've got my prep photo and I've got my finished photo. So, um... I ended up... It's gonna look funny because I've got line work on it. So I ended up putting it in our art pad program in Krita. And, uh... I was like, how the fuck am I going to do this? So, um, that is blue line work over that. So, um, I kind of traced the basic shapes for things that were going to need to be in the, in the painting and, um, tra printed this out, printed my line work out. And, um, so my line work I was just in here. Why did it close it? Um, my line work got a little muddled as I was um, doing it. So that was basically all of my line work. And I was like, oh God, how am I going to transfer this? <laughs> so I did the, the, the cheap transfer trick where when you don't have transfer paper or you're tracing it or coloring the back of it with graphite and then laying it down and then transferring it over to the canvas and then then it came time to paint it and uh that was that was nerve-wracking i will say I, I kept sending him update photos i'm like are you are we happy with this is this okay like this is the direction we're going. And he's like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And the finished one, let me see, where is the finished? Is that the finished? I can't tell if these two, I think this is the finished one. Oh, they're all different sizes. What is happening here? And the finished one, if I can size it down far enough, Oh, that's really... They were fuzzy mules, so, um... Sorry, this program... Oh, that came out funny. It, it compressed a little too far. 
<laughs> they, um... In the end, it kind of came out like that. It was a little rough, but, um... They seem to be happy with it. But, oh, that line work. And, um, that was, that was tough. That was really tough, but he was, he was happy with it, so I was like, okay, cool. But, uh, it's the first time I've ever had to do a mule, I will say. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I generally don't advertise that I can do commissions, because I'm always afraid I'm going to fuck it up. So, I mean, I can attempt to do them. I didn't charge them as much as I probably should have, because it was a rush job. That was another thing. He, like, it was supposed to be for Christmas, and he, like, messaged me, I think, a couple days after Thanksgiving, and I was like, Ugh. I was like, um, <laughs> I can try. I think I had to put everything else on hold that I was working on. And then I had to solely work on that. And he's like, it's okay if you can't get it done in time for Christmas, but I'd prefer it be done for there. I was like, okay, I'll try. But I wasn't, like after I saw the photo, <laughs> I wasn't real confident it was gonna look right so I was like um all right so I really lowballed the price on it because it was for a friend too so I was like mm, okay but uh I really probably should have charged like 60 or 70 <laughs> and uh, I, I only charged um I think I only charged him 40 but I also um, asked him to pay for shipping, so. Because I was broke and didn't have the money to blow on that. They seemed happy with it, so that's all that really matters. But I never really quite think my painting style is gonna be what other people are expecting, because I do mostly. I mean, we've done some Bob Ross painting and stuff, but. A lot of the stuff that you guys don't see that I do is kind of funky and a bit abstract. And I never really envision anybody wanting to commission that, so <laughs> it's not like I'm doing fan art. You often undercharge people depending on who they are <laughs> and, uh, and what they've asked for. Yeah, like I was really unsure if they were going to be happy with it, so I'm like, well, I mean... It is a rush job and I probably should be charging more for this, but at the same time, so I think that was a level a, uh, 11 by 14 too, because I think that was the canvas size I had on hand. And with all that rigging, I, I really should have charged like 50 minimum, but uh, you know, my brain was like, oh no, this will be all right. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> oh, my hand was fucked for days. When I do a lot of detail work, my hand tends to swell. I don't know if it's something else going on or if it goes back to an old work injury. It probably all goes back to an old work injury, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Pretty sure I had a tendon pop in my hand. And I just kinda 
pushed through, I probably royally fucked myself over. Because I was like, no, no. I don't know what's going on, but my hand hurts like hell. It's fine. And that happened while I was on register, and I really should have filled out an accident report on that one. But did I? Fuck no. Not after the last problem I had when I hurt my neck and the amount of shit they gave me. I wrapped one too many candles that day, like they were jar candles. They weren't like, like the really, they weren't like two-handed jar candles. It was like one that you could pick up with your hand. And um, we were wrapping them in like newsprint or something and um, they were on sale. So it was a nightmare of, of candles smashing and, and um, being wrapped all day because some of the kids were dropping them and I was trying to deal with all of it and we, we tried to, um, if people bought enough of them, because they were so heavy, if people bought like six which they tended to do when they were on sale, we would just kind of scan them and then put them back in the box, the like the box tray that they came stacked in. And most people were okay with that, but then when we bought three, if we had an extra box, people were like, oh, can you put them in the box, but like lay them down? And I'm like, okay. So I picked up one of the candles and went to wrap it and something like popped in the top of my hand. I was like, oh, ow, that hurts. And I was like, the only one on customer service. There wasn't a whole lot I could do that night, so I just kind of had to suck it up and deal with it. You had an artist do a painting of one of the baseball cards of my dad on a canvas slightly bigger than 8x10 and you paid 750 Oh wow, I really undercharged! <laughs> Although I can see that one with the amount of detail that that would need. People I can see charging more for. Um... Because you're, you're really trying to um, capture the, um, the look and, and the essence of the person. And I can see that being a lot more time consuming. Was it oil or was it acrylic? If it was oil, I can see it costing more too. But um, I can, I can, I don't know about 750 but they were probably actually charging um, by the hour. Oil, yeah, oil is going to be more, um, because of, of dry time and stuff, but, and, and the supplies. Yeah, they, they, they probably knew that, um, they were good enough to, to charge that, and, um, oil paint is gonna, oil paint's fucking expensive. Um, like, the Bob Ross oil paints, and they're branded, so they're going to be more. Um, those were, depending on the size of the tube and certain colors, it wouldn't be unheard of for a tube of oil paint. Maybe, meh, maybe from the black section here to here. I don't know, actually, maybe to here. Ten bucks easy per color. If not more, certain shades are more, certain hues are more. Um, I've seen a tube of watercolor, I kid you not, when I was working for AC Moore. A tube of watercolor was about this long. Mm, maybe, maybe about this long. $22. I almost fell on the floor when I, when I uh, rung it up. I was like, this can't be right. Like, I thought it was wrong. Like, I was about to do a price check on it, and the customer's like, no, no, that's right. And I'm like, oh my god. They're like, I have a coupon. I was like, okay. <laughs> watercolor pigments are hella spendy, depending on... Yeah, watercolor. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I live in Cheapville, so... <laughs> but yeah, some of those pigments... Mmm. They are pricey. I use the cheap ass craft paint. <laughs> Cause your girl's broke. And yeah, schminky, schminka. Um, 
can be real expensive. Um, I don't even, I have a couple of tubes of acrylic um, artist paint, I guess, student paint. You know, the real shit that most people use. Um, I have a couple of Liquitex basic tubes, but, but that being said, um, those tubes are expensive too. And I actually get mad when they dry shiny. I don't like it when they dry shiny. I haven't heard of Graham. I've heard of Daniel Smith and Schminky. Schminka. 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 I keep saying it wrong. I know the Seleni... Uh, what the fuck? I'm gonna mispronounce it. The Selenier? Um, pastels can be super expensive. But they're like top of the line. Oh yeah, I the handmade watercolors. There's a lot of shit that goes into making them. And then you have to think they're probably making them in small batches because you know, smaller sellers and stuff. But I've seen some people really rave about some of the handmade ones um, that they've found on Etsy. That they love them. Um, I think it was... Oh god, I don't know the seller's name. Um, Regina something? I remember the first name being Regina because it's not a name I normally hear. I've never used them myself, so I can't... I can't uh, say one way or another about them. But Graham is a Pacific Northwest company. Like, okay, okay. Yeah, see, I have... I've used the the artist paint before. Oh, if I can reach it. Oof. So I mean, I do have them. <laughs> I just don't prefer them for what I do. Um, in fact, you can tell how long it's been since I've used this one because there's it's actually settled down to the bottom. You can see clear spots in the tube. But, um, those fuckers, they're expensive. Why is my arm wet? My arm's wet, and I don't know why. I don't see anything spilled. Alright. Um, but, uh, I'm, things were different <laughs> when I worked for the craft store, and I had that lovely, lovely, lovely employee discount. Um, granted it was only 20%, but it still made the purchasing of things, oh thank you, thank you for the follow, still made the purchasing of things a little bit easier to bear, um, especially when you needed a lot of them, but, um, The even Liquitex Basics, the last time I bought a tube was like five to six dollars for for that size tube I just showed. And I guess that's not terrible. But when you start adding up all of the colors. Now I know some people are purists, and there's nothing wrong with that. They will go with just the primary and they will mix every every color. Um, my brain can't handle mixing every color. And, you know, bravo to those that can. I totally applaud you. But sometimes you just need that pre-mixed color. You have some ultramarine, ultramarine blue from Otokano. Absolutely the best you've ever tried. You like your folk art acrylics? Yeah, like there's just something about and I know some people can get this is I have in the past not recently and I'll tell you why but um but I've seen and this is not against anybody in this chat I'm not calling anybody out I've never seen anybody in this chat do this this is from my own personal experience that I've seen other people do not not anybody here just you know past when I've worked at the art store and stuff so let's just make that clear right now 
I've seen people in the past get really super snotty about art supplies. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and like, I didn't understand because they're like, oh, well, you know, you're not a real artist if you're not using this or this. And, and I'm like, really? You're, you're going to be like that? Like, a mixed media artist could grab buttons, some thread, a couple of leaves from outside, an apple, cut it in half and do prints with it, and glue it all to a canvas, and they're still a fucking artist? Like, what are you talking about? And, and I'm like, what? I'm just like, get the fuck out of here. And, and they're like, oh, well, you have to use, you know, oh, if you're painting on canvas, you have to use this. And I'm just like, go away. And I'm just like, really? So, okay, here's one for you, snobby art person. You spent how much on that tube of paint? How much? Now, if that's what you need for your project, cool. But I'm a broke bitch, so... <laughs> I prefer to go for quantity over, you know, oh, I don't need to do a second coat on this. I've actually seen some artist tubes of paint, depending on the pigment, where you have to do a second coat on it. And and it was not a cheap tube of paint. It was like 10 bucks. And I'm like, if I'm buying $10 for a tube of paint this big, that bitch better cover in one coat. So <laughs> I'm like... No, no. So, <laughs> I'm just like, really? I'm like, tell you what. Tell you what. You do your thing, and I'll do my thing. And you can have all of the artist tube of paints you want. But I'm going to skip on over to the unfinished wood crafty section, and I'm going to pick me up some of my craft paints. <laughs> and I can get, like, six colors depending on the brand I go with for one of your tubes so you have fun with that I don't mind if I have to do a second coat I don't care and a lot of them you don't really have to but don't be snotty about the art supplies I mean you know I think it's more about what you can do with it than the supply itself now granted some are better than the others and when you're starting out, maybe you don't want like bargain basement because then you're going to get frustrated um, trying to learn it. I would definitely go middle of the road, maybe just to learn or slightly below middle, but not completely bargain basement. Um, like I wouldn't go poster paint learning how to do this. That, that That's going to piss you off and not going to be what you want it to be. But you know, I wouldn't spend $150 on like 10 colors of acrylic paint if you don't know if you're going to like it. So I tend to go with, with the craft paint. I like them better. They flow better. They're not real thick and they dry matte. So I have the Arteza um, acrylic paints and I do like them to a degree. However, I do have some, some issues with them. They dry way too fast. Um, I'll, I will be working on them and they will be sitting out on my plate or my palette, whatever the fuck I'm using. And um, they'll dry before I've even gotten half of the, the little dome of the, the dab of paint. And I don't put that much out on them. And like, I'll be halfway through it and the other side's dry. I'm like, it's got a skin over it already. I'm like, it's been out on my plate for 10 minutes. What the hell? Um... Your basic rule is acquire the best tools. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to work within your budget. So definitely like don't break the bank. I mean, you, you got to be able to take care of all of your other stuff too. So, um, but you know, buy what you enjoy working with and that you can afford. So I enjoy the craft paints. I started out with apple barrel. Now apple barrel is a little thin, but they're 50 cents a piece. Um, depending on where you, where you get them. I think they're 50 cents at Walmart right now. Um, for a while, Hobby Lobby, unfortunately, was like the, the art store here and it really killed me going in there. And I don't go there anymore. Um, they, they've 
they've crossed way too many lines, so I try not to set foot in there if I absolutely can avoid it. So I'm going to have to change my paint brand. Um, I'd switched over to Anita's, and I wasn't that fond of Anita's. Um, I actually kind of preferred Apple Barrel. I mean, Folk Art has some nice coverage, too. Um, but Folk Art was just a little out of my price range. And uh, so I was like, well, shit. I was going to switch to them. Because I could order those at Joann's. Because that seemed to be their their in-house of choice. Um, but then I saw the Apple Barrel at Michael's and or um, at uh, Walmart. And Walmart's actually stepped up their supply art supply game a bit I was a little surprised that they um, like they've got a bunch of canvas now they've got some some decent brush sets from like Dallarani and stuff um, I wouldn't get like the cheap five dollar pack of brushes like that has everything under the sun because they usually have the bristly brushes and the bristly brushes tend to shed pretty bad um, like the hog hair can, uh, those are more for the oil anyway, but, um, they've, they've definitely stepped up their supplies. They've got sketchbooks now and all kinds of stuff. So I was like, Hey, check this out. Um, so I think the last set of canvas I got was actually from there. But yeah, I'm not going to be going to Hobby Lobby anymore, and that's where Anita's was at. Apparently they made a deal with- like, we used to sell Anita's at AC Moore, and apparently I think they made a deal with Hobby Lobby where you could only get them there now. Because I tried searching online and was having trouble finding them. So I was like, that's interesting. But, um... You know, I prefer these to the other brands because they flow better. I can do what I need to do with them a lot easier. The The other stuff is too thick for me. Now, there has been times where if I'm doing a background and um, I don't want to go back in with a second coat or I need a lot of a shade mixed, I will take, that's why I've got so much <laughs> like the decks white, um, I will take some of that and mix it into whatever craft paint of the day that I'm using. Um, just to get more volume out of it. I don't use a wet palette. Um, that would probably help keep it uh, wet a bit longer. But I don't have one right now. Right now I have I have a medicine measuring cup. <laughs> I have some little some little flower shaped guys and I have a couple plates from Dollar Tree. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I've got right now. But um, I have like a big ass plastic palette. For the oil paint, I just don't have the room for it because my work surface right now is extremely limited. We just don't have the room. I, I, there's a desk that I really wanted off of Amazon, but <laughs> they don't have it anymore. So I'm like, great. It was like a combo art drafty desk computer desk. And I was like, oh, that would work perfect then I could have the computer rig right next to me but still have room to paint and see the chat and get the camera set up and everything and uh, didn't have the money to get it nor did I have the room to house it because we're really cramped into this house so so it's husband and I we're living with uh, my mother-in-law. We're in her house at the moment. It, it's a long convoluted story as to how we got here. But so it's a two bedroom house. Okay. And in two bedrooms going to be in air quotes because there's really only one bedroom that has that, that looks like a bedroom. Um, the room that we were originally using as our bedroom didn't have an actual bedroom door. Um, it kind of felt like a large living room, to be perfectly honest, but it opened out onto the front porch, so it felt, it didn't feel like a bedroom. There's another door off the front porch 
that also opens into a living room like room that's slightly smaller um we weren't really sure what the deal with that was because it almost felt like a duplex but not because there's no separation inside everything like nothing's doubled so um so we were in the larger living room like room that one had carpet in it that was turned into a bedroom i guess at one point it must have been like a sitting room or something because there's a doorway that connects the two rooms that open onto the front porch to go outside except somebody put a board this house <laughs> this house i swear to god someone put a board before the mother-in-law bought this place covering the doorway and um, put shelves on the one side of it um, I guess to turn the one side into a bedroom I guess it, this house doesn't make sense the house was originally um, built in like 1921 or 26. I, I've seen two different conflicting dates and I think they just kept adding on to it themselves. Um, so architecture and layout of older homes doesn't quite make sense. I think it used to be like one or two rooms when it first started out because I'm pretty sure where the pantry is located used to be a fireplace judging by where there's a brick chimney on the roof and no no fireplace can be found inside the house so I have no idea what this chimney connected to it, it's very strange so it was the three of us for a while and then my dad had some some health issues and we didn't want him living alone so we moved him down here with us and we moved out of the larger room and into the actual quote unquote living room and we turned that into a bedroom so we're kind of cramped for space but we're trying to make things work <laughs> as best as we can we don't really have people that come over anyway, so it works out. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do when money is tight and parents are getting older and, and they need supervision and someone to wrangle them. Especially with the litany of problems my dad has, so. So we don't have as much space as I would like. If we did, I would have brought my drafting, my drafting desk with us when we moved. That sucker was huge. I had plenty of room to spread out, but, <laughs> but, 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 especially seeing the price of desks nowadays, I'm like, oh God, you want how much? Is this US dollars? Like, <laughs> like, god damn. This is crazy. But, um, yeah, so we're, we go, we go as cheap as we can get away with that we'll still get the job done in the manner that we want it to. But, I mean, you know, this, this paint works for me, and I just, I hate it when people gatekeep on art supplies because you know budgets and shit and life perfect world yeah I would probably well no I'd probably still go with the cheaper paint even if I had the disposable cash where it didn't matter but right now I'm just trying to use up my Anita's supply before it completely dries out because I've had these bottles for a few years now so 
And they're starting to show their age as I'm trying to paint with them. I'm just trying to make sure that I can get my use out of them. I do really like using the Arteza water, uh, no, the Arteza acrylic paint on watercolor paper. And I know that's going to sound bizarre, but I will actually use small amounts of the Arteza paint and mix water into it, even though it's acrylic, it's not their watercolor, it's their acrylic. And, um, Put that on watercolor paper that comes out pretty cool and um, I don't think I've ever used a wet palette I've used the palette paper before not for me though it was for work stuff because when I worked for the craft store I used to merchandise for them and we uh, you know we would have to set up and displays on the aisles and stuff um, except I don't think anybody else does this I could be wrong but we spent a fortune on this in store which is probably why a lot of other stores don't do it um, in the in the fine art section we had rolls cheap rolls of paper that you know you would put on like kids easels and stuff um, we had to on the end display over top of the pegboards where the hooks would get um, pushed into to hold the products um, we had to take double-sided scotch tape the little yellow and black plaid containers and plaster the pegboards with the tape and then we had to um, take this paper and uh, run that down over top of the pegboard and fortunately it was very thin paper so we could run our hands over it and feel where the holes were for the hooks to slide into. And then after we got the, the paper covering it, we would have to take um, box knives and trim it down. This was before things got really, you know, extra safe at work. We had, we had these box knives on the shelves um, they were, they were the orange, um, the plastic orange holders, and they would have these cheap ass blades in them that boasted in the advertisement on the outside of it, oh, is this part dull? Just snap it off and then you can have, you can scoot the blade up to have a sharper, fresher section. Like, yeah, okay, sure, give this to us workers. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Um, and, uh, just, we'd have to run the knives down along the edge of the, um, the frame that would hold the pegboard so that we could have a clean edge on this paper. And then we had to grab the pellet paper. And a lot of times the classroom coordinator, or one of the classroom coordinators, I think we had two for a time, um, would do this if they had time, if not we had to do it. And it involved getting sea sponges, um, which we had in-house, and we usually had a few in the classroom supply stuff. and. Um, we would have to find out, like each department sort of had its own color scheme depending on the season. So if we were doing a um, an end display for spring, 
we would be using like pink and green and and yellow and if it was for Christmas it would be red and green and um, we'd have to put it on the palette paper and then sponge the back of this this white paper that we just plastered onto the pegboard and then uh, the classroom coordinators would do a little display board for what people could make with the stuff um, that we were doing the display for. But because I merchandised and knew how to do this, there were many times on the weekends when the managers were fussing with the seasonal department during Christmas and condensing down or... Um, adding to it depending on what we had coming, what they needed to get out of the stock room. And they would be pulling me off customer service and they're like, hey, I'm like what? They're like, we need you to do this. And I'm like, you just really don't want to do it, do you? And <laughs> they're like, not really. So I then would be spending like 20 minutes to an hour setting up these end displays or even like in the middle of the aisle in the middle of the aisle they did it like down the entire aisle for seasonal because um, they would be condensing down so much they didn't want the the ugly pegboard to be showing behind it but I kind of feel like it would have been better just to have the ugly pegboard because <laughs> that paper got real ugly real fast when um when uh when they were moving all of the hooks and stuff cuz then you had all of the holes in the paper and i'm just like yeah i don't really see where this is helping but okay just the amount of money <laughs> that they must have spent purely on paper alone for in-store stuff I mean, they've since gone out of business, but they were doing pretty well um, before I left. Things went downhill when the owner retired and the person that he had groomed to take over for him went rogue <laughs> and... Uh, just did everything completely opposite of um, what the owner had been teaching him how to run it and how to do things that were working. So, like, the family was huge. It was family owned, right? So, and there might have been an outside the family partner that was still a close friend but um, two thirds of the family were um, either in the main office or in the stores like the office manager of my location was one of the owner's daughters and she had like seven kids herself so I mean they were very big on large family but he I heard I had left before the owner retired because I needed benefits and they weren't offering them but I had heard that he went and fired every single family member one by one and they were the ones that really knew how to keep the place going And I don't know what happened from there, but they ended up filing for bankruptcy and closing. Um, I think 2021, 2020, somewhere around in there. So oh. do, do I need to get a candle to light and put on this? No. No? No, I don't want any copyright issues. We're not singing. It's not copyright. That's the whole point. But I, anyhow. Uh, dinner. Did yeah. you just want to put aside? Or? I just sit on the sink, on the um, stove. I'll be there in a second. Okay. So birthday dinner is here.
No, we're not we're not singing happy birthday. I'm not getting slammed somehow, some way. I know it's supposed to be free royalty free now, but you know, with the way YouTube is <laughs> and um since we archive the live streams over there, we try to. I don't want problems. <laughs> it's funny because one of the Minecraft live streams I did uh, that was micless where I was just playing. I had the background music running. Didn't have any problems on Twitch. I exported it over to um, YouTube and before I had even made it public, it was like, oh, there's a problem. And I'm like, what do you mean there's a problem? They're like, oh, two of these songs are copyright claimed. Um, it's not a strike, so you can leave them in but they're claimed, so if you monetize this video, you're not going to get any money from it. It's going to go to them. And I'm like, what? Turns out it was two of the newer songs that had been put in over the, t over the years. And um, apparently Sony Music did those songs. So twitch didn't give a fucking shit but um youtube took offense and i'm like right okay so then i had to to cut that out so i just i don't want any problems so we don't do any music anymore sorry um so what might work on twitch might not work on youtube so it's just easier to not not do the background stuff so we'll be finishing this guy up on Sa uh, sunday excuse me we didn't quite get there today but we've definitely made a lot of progress. I'm really happy with how we're we're coming out. I think one more session ought to do it on this guy. Um, so don't forget to follow me in all of the places. We've got Twitter, it's at NisiBGN. YouTube is the same as this channel's name, NisiBGN. We've got the Kofi, um, which has a larger gallery of my stuff. And, um, and then we have the um, the Insta. I don't have as much on Insta. I'm slowly building a library, a gallery over there as well. Um, so we're gonna go see Stone Grasp. He's actually uh, streaming WWE 2K22. Uh, I know him from the Wild Challenges community. He had taken over and was running the Wild Challenges community for a time before it got passed over to Lita. So he's been a friend for a while. So we're gonna stop in and say hello to him. So thank you guys for all the birthday cheers and the, the follows and the raids and the, the gift subs happening. Thank you all so much. I do greatly appreciate it. You really made my day actually. <laughs> um, so thank you for that. I will see you guys on Thursday for um, for our WoW Challenges stream. So I um, hope your week goes well. And until then, you guys have a great one. Thank you so much.